The U.S.-backed Israeli military continues to carry out attacks in the Gaza Strip. On Wednesday, two civilians, including a pregnant woman, were wounded when Israeli warplanes bombed areas in northern Gaza. A Gaza resident's home was damaged in an overnight strike. It's a shame. It's the second time already. May God help us and send people to help us. I have children of three, four and five years old, and the glass showered on them, and they couldn't see anything. This is the second time, and we pray to God and the people to help us and stop this thing. In Israel and the occupied territories, the U.S.-backed Israeli military is continuing military operations in both the West Bank and Gaza Strip. On Thursday, Israeli soldiers stormed the West Bank village of Awarta and arrested more than 100 women. Israel says it was pursuing suspects in the recent killings of Israeli settlers. The Israeli military also bulldozed homes in the village of Tubas. Meanwhile, at least four Palestinians, including two civilians, were killed today in Israeli airstrikes on Gaza. The bombing came after a Palestinian rocket struck an Israeli school bus, injuring two. At least 19 Palestinians have died in Gaza since Thursday in the deadliest series of Israeli strikes since the end of the Israeli assault on Gaza two years ago. Israel launched the strikes after Palestinian militants fired an anti-tank rocket that hit an Israeli school bus, critically wounding a teenager.